what we do here is go back, 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 back. What we do here is go back, 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 back. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Ladies and gentlemen, the hardest working man in show business. Give it up, guys, for Mr. James Brown. You always shock the house when you come in. Well, <laughs> I'm just glad to be here, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just really funny. Some of everybody really into everything, you know, and I know that, uh, that uh, my career has um, been like a model for this type of action. I remember, I remember when I used to do Future Shock, you know, and, and you and I was together there in Little Nook, and we were talking, and now I see, I, every time I see a show, it just gets better and better. I'm really glad to see that. Well, thank you very much, sir. And, of course, uh, we uh, patting ourselves behind uh, James Brown, I guess, like everybody else. I better be good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> James Brown, the godfather of soul, uh, was a name that uh, I guess you just picked up a few years back. You didn't always have that name. No, when it started, Mr. Dynamite, the hardest working man in show business, uh, the amazing Mr. Please, Please himself. So, so brother number one, so hey. You had a couple yeah, other names too, didn't you? Yeah, but I don't want to talk about those. <laughs> <laughs> but everything has been real great, you know, and I, it's just fantastic now. I've, I've got about five films in the can, they're coming out, and uh, we're going to do my life story. The final was shot, and it's played all over Europe, and it's played all over the Orient and South America. It and hasn't played here yet? No, it's a little slow, but uh, they got to bring it to you, because you can't, you can't hide the truth, you know? Who, who's starred in it, your life story? Well, I think a fellow by the name of James Brown starred in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did your own life story. Yeah. Who's got my albums? Did you bring my albums out here? Hey, would you pass me my albums? You know, something I never said, you know, uh, being a living legend in your own time, uh, this is one album that I've had in my collection. <laughs> this album here, I've always been a man to do my own thing, and, and I believe in own, ownership and, and control of my own destiny. This album, I spent $5,700, and that was times like two hundred and fifty, three hundred thousand today uh -huh. to record myself. They said it couldn't be done. And it was just voted the live album of all time. Have mercy. Give it up, yeah. guys. You can see I've used mine quite well. Oh, <laughs> it's original. You got original. Yes. You know, this album, let me just tell everybody, because a lot of our uh, people who dance on the show regularly and watch the show uh, was probably born around this time. Now, I was That's looking right. at, on the inside of this album. It says, recorded live October 24th, 1962. That's right. That's right. And, and on here, and I was uh, showing this to some friends of mine the other day, uh, it had about 10 records at that time, and each time you wanted to a different cut, uh, the crowd just roared, roared. What will be happening tonight at Henry's? Uh, uh, you know, our show, our band is really dynamic and live, and we do it, everything ex extemporaneous, you know, right off the top of our heads, you know. This album here is kind of unusual. We went actually into a prison in California, and I shot this because I was trying to give a, le a message to the kids, revolution in the mind. Your body may be free, but your mind is in jail until you get yourself together, get your head together here with a good education, and uh, check out a lot of things that are going on around you. Revolution of Mind, I think, says a whole lot of things. You, you got into soundtracks as this next album will uh, show. <laughs> yeah, this is a thing I had the pleasure of doing with uh, uh, Joe, uh, Jim Brown and Lynn Collins and Fred Wesley. Uh, so it's a big rip off. We had a lot of fun with that. It is something happening with black movies because you don't see Fred out there. We don't see your life story. So it is something happening. What is happening is uh, we got to keep fighting and hope that people like Dr. King will keep on coming up. This is Sex Machine today. It was voted. Uh, this is the first disco album ever be released. I was a man who started the word disco. <laughs> to zero in. Thank you. If you zero in on it, you see it's a disco soul. It's the first one ever to be released in history. How much? I started the name. I mean, they don't want to give me a credit, but now there it is in black and white. You can. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This particular album, uh, if you don't have it, go out and get it. Because this album talks about the day. I could have... Uh, 1982. This is a 1970 album. And it talks about the day. It starts off by saying, this job is closed indefinitely. I saw these things uh -oh. coming. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You're talking about the plants. This Detroit. job here, this, this, this album here, it was so real until they, they had to get it off the market right away. But now it's back. Get this album because it talks about everything that we're into right now. All right. And let me see what else we have here. This one is one that was on the King label. Uh, your and they wouldn't push it because I did the acid rock thing. 
called Show sure It's Funky Down Here, where I played all the electrical instruments and everything. But see, they, they played it down, but they, they didn't want you to they, know that. They didn't want you to, the people to know that you could play instruments? And I created all the, all the stuff that I do. I played bass, guitar, drums, or piano, or harmonica. I play all the instruments. And I was never taught proper formula myself. Mm. I mean, formula by a teacher, I had to go out and get it myself. We, we read about uh, you this morning in the free press, and um, for those who are watching the interview right now, uh, you've got to see Mr. Dynamite, the amazing Mr. Please Please himself. You gotta go out and see him tonight. This is a one night only deal over at Mr. Henry's, right? That's right. Over at Henry's Lounge over on Finkel Avenue, you gotta get out there. Uh, I think Henry needs to be commended for bringing James Brown in here. Give it up for Henry, guys. And uh, let's talk about this one, the Black Caesar. Well, this is one I had the pleasure of doing with Brother Fred Williams, and uh, it was just a fantastic thing. It showed that, uh, that you could take street music, people music, and make it what's, what's happening. Uh, Godfather of Harlem, and this is where I kind of got my name, Godfather of Soul, right here, because uh, the fact that uh, I took our music and, and let them know that the situation was real and made it happen. And it was a very strong thing that happened. Something happened that, uh, spiritually, because anybody that caught the show, they, they don't know whether to really remember the movie or what they heard, and, and it was just a thing, you know. It's a, they were, went out dancing. It was fantastic. All right, well, we don't want to rest. I know you got to get ready for your performance tonight, but uh, you have done so much for black America. Uh, I saw or I heard on the way in uh, the record, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud, and I know uh, releasing a record like that in the 60s, it had to cost you a lot of money. It cost me a lot of money because I, I grew up with uh, blacks, uh, not well, being ashamed to say they were black. I think one of the worst things you could have said to me when I was a kid is say you're black. It was a fighting piece. And today, yeah. so I felt that, you know, why live with a, a stigma that uh, really doesn't mean anything? So say it loud and black and proud is something I had to do. And, and I, I'm glad I hey, did. We, 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 we thank you for doing that one. No, no, thank, we, 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 we thank, thank God. God. Well, we thank God for you. <laughs> but I do want to, I do want, I do want everybody to get ready for my new record. It's entitled Country Funk. And we're doing a single of it called Bring It On. All right, we'll be definitely, uh, as you said, uh, get up on this. <laughs> be on this, really. Be on this. We will be on it. And, of course, give it up once again. Thank you, everybody. We've got the dancers all lined up here, and uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back. Don't you go away. The Godfather of Soul. Let me just tell you, 80% of the music that you hear today is this man right here. 80% of all music you hear. <laughs> 